my boss put a fist through the wall. I am not the oop. Oop is you, nightmare and counting. My boss put a fist through the wall. Originally posted to our law firm. Trigger warning. Hostile work environment and physical violence and abuse. Less than. Original post June 4th, 2023. This is a throwaway account for reasons that will become obvious as you read this post. I am a new attorney. I have been practicing for six months and I have been with the same firm for six months. The pay is great and higher than most other jobs available to someone with my experience. My boss prides herself on being a mentor to new attorneys. However, my boss has something of a reputation in my community. In the last year, she has lost four attorneys who all quit and walked off. This is a small firm. So losing four was a huge blow. Of the attorneys who quit, my boss has harassed all of them. She sued the first one for her shoes and she filed ethics complaints against her and she's getting ready to sue her again. The second one to quit my boss sued to claw back her bonus pay. The third one to quit was a doozy. The third one to quit and took her client files with her. My boss lodged multiple ethics complaints against her, filed criminal complaints against her, and sued her. The third one to quit had to go into deep hiding at her new firm. Because my boss and her husband called and harassed her constantly. Despite the drama with the former employees, I haven't felt much of it until recently. My boss hasn't been a great boss. But she has made an effort to mentor me. She answers my questions and occasionally looks over my work. There are issues though. She doesn't believe in hiring paralegals or trained legal professionals. So we just have generic staff. Of our staff we have gone through eight since I started. Including one who was fired after being drunk on the job. As a result, our work is often not done on time or it's sloppy. My boss also has a philosophy of never firing a bad client. This has become a big issue in the firm. We most recently had a client with a long history of fraud. My boss had me draft a motion and affidavit, which the other side pointed out was entirely fraudulent the day before the motion hearing. We had to withdraw the motion and apologize to the court. The client then stiffed us on our bill. My boss still won't let us fire him and now I have to work on his case for free. Despite all this, I have stuck with it until now. Dot the wall punching incident. My boss and her husband brought a criminal detective into the office to talk about one of the former attorneys. I could hear them across the wall. They were screaming and swearing at the detective about how the former employee is a F at King Spy. I then heard a loud thump and saw my boss's husband shake his bruised fist dude put his fist through a wall. It was frightening to watch. That same night, a rival firm reached out to me unsolicited. They have several of the former attorneys from my firm and they have offered me a job as well. Same pay, actual paralegal, mentoring, and no one puts their fist through drywall. I feel guilty about leaving my firm and being disloyal. But I think I need to go for my own safety. This sh at is wild. Relevant comments. Out of touch in the way. Hard to believe all of these horribles could show themselves from one person in such a short period of time. Fodder worthy of 60 minutes or similar investigative ambush show. See if you can monetize this. Additional thoughts. This pattern of behavior doesn't appear suddenly. Except one scenario I've seen before. Below. There should be more examples over a longer period of time. Seen, heard anything? Out of the blue situation. A relatively new bad habit. Does not smell like booze. Something else. Hmm. Said, nuff. Oop replied. There were other signs. But I either ignored them or tried to look through rose-tinted glasses. Like we weren't allowed to attend the CLEs for our area of law. Because something happened between my boss and another firm and she ended up being investigated for trust account violations.
I don't think she was publicly disciplined, but she has complained about how it cost her hundreds of thousands to defense against there were signs like that. Update July 15, 2023. Remember me? I'm the attorney whose boss put a fist through the wall while screaming about how one of the former attorneys was a F it dollar. Ing spy. I'll include a link below. R. Law Firm, Comments, 140HXM2, My Boss Put Office Through the Wall. I'm here with an update. The update is, I start my new job next week. Sadly, I am not going with the rival firm that tried to poach me. Shortly after the rival firm reached out to me, my boss sued one of the attorneys at that firm. My boss instructed every person at the firm to attend the hearings for the former attorney and stare at them. I was conveniently on vacation when the first hearing happened, but my boss crowed about her efforts against the former attorney to the entire firm. After the former attorney got sued, the rival firm entirely ghosted me and wouldn't return my email. My boss also told me she was suing the entire rival firm. So that could be part of why they ghosted. However, I did immediately begin applying for new jobs. I had three offers fairly quickly and two of the firms even got into a bidding match over me. The legal community in the area I practice has been remarkably kind to me. They have all told me that I'm smart to escape the toxic firm and their offer to help me. However I can. I ended up taking a job with a firm in my practice area and the job comes with a nice raise. I didn't end up walking out of my job at toxic firm. Given what happened to the last attorneys, I wanted to try to avoid getting sued and harassed. I gave proper notice, notified my clients, and I was gracious to my employer. The effort was a bit in vain no one at toxic firm spoke to me after I put in notice and my boss went from weeping about my loss to screaming at me about it. She also blew up my phone with text messages after I left. Until I blocked her. All in all though, quitting toxic firm did not go as bad as I thought and I am so glad to start fresh. Thank you to everyone who commented and liked my original post I read every comment and I took it to heart. I am actively working to be better at advocating for myself and I am looking into therapy under my new and improved health insurance. I'm excited to have a fresh start. Oh, and to boot, almost all of my clients are leaving toxic firm and coming with me. I call that success. Relevant comments. Leslie Nopi. OMG how insane. I'm so glad you got out of there. And cheers to the bar for rallying around you and your colleagues and actively trying to get you out. You need to file a bar complaint ASAP. This is absolutely unacceptable. Also, in your AUG post, I noticed you kept saying, husband, but not partner? Is he an attorney? Or just a mobster, bodyguard to punch employees into submission? Oop replied, thank you. One of the attorneys I spoke to also helped me get set up with an ethics attorney in my field. I'm working with him to figure out next steps. Especially if my former boss does something crazy. As for my AUG post. Toxic former boss is married to the business manager. Who is not an attorney. He also isn't allowed in the office very often. Because he scares the employees. This is a repost sub I am not the oop. Surely word gets around, why would anyone ever want to work for these nut bars? I don't think this is over. All signs point to oop being sued and or having ethics violations filed against them. Especially if almost all their clients are leaving with them. Glad oop got out and everything but like. My boss hasn't been a great boss. But she has made an effort to mentor me. Bruh. You sure you even want that mentoring? I feel guilty about leaving my firm and being disloyal. But I think I need to go for my own safety. And this. It should not take an outside firm reaching out to you to finally get you to haul ass out of there. Like just read over what you wrote. Why are you still working there? My god. 
If they hadn't would Oop have stayed working there indefinitely. Yeesh. Probably a good thing they didn't end up letting themselves be poached though. I'd want to be as far away from whatever drama toxic boss has and going to a firm with another. Attorney she's suing doesn't sound like a good thing. At least with the update they got to a third firm and hopefully far from the immediate fallout with their boss distracted by their first set of idiotic lawsuits. The philosophy of not firing clients seem more like a business preservation tactic than philosophical one. I can't imagine many decent clients would stick with a law firm like this. Also it seems this firm gets called out on their BS really quick. Isn't there some kind of thing where if you abuse the legal system over and over again for your own twisted revenge purposes, you can be disbarred? Damn. And many expletive words. I very much believe Oop. Our present ministre de la justice in France. A lawyer. Has. A somewhat similar reputation. And his former partner seems to be extremely nasty. Just to say that. While many lawyers do a superb job, or at worst do their jobs, a few seem to relish and enjoy hurting people. This reminds me of the reality show about a couple with a bakery in Scottsdale. The place and people were truly unhinged. My boss also has a philosophy of never firing a bad client. This has become a big issue in the firm. We most recently had a client with a long history of fraud. Well, that's obviously going to bite them in the ass. He's totally going to stiff them. The client then stiffed us on our bill. My boss still won't let us fire him and now I have to work on his case for free. Called it. It seems like toxic lawyer is using her degree to sue others. Rather than getting her clients the help them need. Keeping clients that don't pay. Things are beyond shady there. I want to see these shoes worth suing over. I'm confused. Did the boss or the boss's husband put a fist through a wall? It also seems as though the incident wasn't even that major a factor in this story. Sounds like the makings of an FX dramedy. To be honest sure nobody with cameras were there urging you to break the fourth wall and give off. The cuff remarks? And I'll be waiting on the next update for when they inevitably get sued. I bet the state disciplinary board would love to hear about this firm. Oops boss. Now, I'm no psychiatrist or anything, but they sound psychotic with a lawsuit happy boss like that. I don't think I woulda had the balls to even bring that mess to Reddit and proceed to let people comment badly about her. Talk about wanting to watch the world burn. In the US, hostile work environment specifically refers to a pattern of discrimination against protected classes, race, gender, disability, etc where management is either directly involved or does not take action to stop it. It doesn't cover just any asshole behavior. Even if it's extremely hostile by the general definition of that term. From what Oop says, this doesn't qualify as a hostile work environment because the boss is horrible to everyone. Indiscriminately. It's all about the money for these toxic scumbags different profession but similar situation. First job in my career field post-university and I was bullied so viciously. And so was the person before me. The person before them. So on and so on. It was a rather isolated office and, in retrospect, the lead bully had the office very insulated from any contact with the outside world. So I never heard a word of the BS before I started and with all the BS I reported once I left. I was told not to speak publicly while the investigation was happening. It's almost 20 years now. Clue where bully is now. 
But my last update was 15 years ago and no consequences had happened yet. It always makes me think of the phrase that the law only works on the people scared of it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.